Hi, welcome to Wholeheartedly for the Lord Bible Journaling with Sherry. Today's process video will be in my interleaved Bible and I'll be using a beautiful kit from Beautiful Good News, two of them actually. One as a reflection of me being a mom and another one a quick reflection entry with my mom and I am just so grateful and I wanted to just do an entry on reflecting on being a mom. I never really did one before I think I mentioned just in general how I love being a mom, but some of you may have not known that I never wanted children. I didn't want to have a child, didn't want to bring one into this world. I had no desire to. I was going to run some programs, be a director, move to Connecticut, or buy a house down the shore and just write and live by the water and again, either down there, run some programs, but I just wanted to live quiet life, date, Yes, I want to date, but I did not want to get married and I did not want children. This was my plan before coming to the knowledge of Jesus Christ that I've been saved. And then once I became saved and found out that it's not good for man to be alone for many reasons, um, I learned that it is God's desire for me to get married. And whether people want to get married or not is their decision but when you are a believer and you desire to be a husband or a wife the Lord will honor that because that is in his will and that brings me to my moments of reflection because my husband came to me and asked me if I would be willing to have a child and that just blew me away because he didn't want any more children. This was his second marriage and he is older than I am. So I thought we were a perfect match and we are. I thought we were a perfect match because he didn't want any more children and I didn't want children and his children were grown, already grown. So there was no need, you know, and again, being selfish and carnal and coming to me several times, I decided to like, wait a minute, maybe I should just pray about this. If the Lord, I know you gave me this man and I know that he's the one for me and I am for him. You put us together. If he's coming to me about this, then you've done something in his heart. And if this is your will, then you have to change my heart because I have no desire. And I would tell him no several times. And then finally, in my final moments of prayer, I felt like, yeah, okay, this is this is this is in his will this is this is good you know and I had to get a lot of things out of my head concerning motherhood parenthood things like that he said first of all I've been a parent before and I'm a father so I know how to be a dad and then he said you're my wife I'm not your baby's father I'm not a boyfriend I'm going to be actively involved in your life his or her life so you don't have to worry about that so guys i'm just being totally honest and transparent and letting you know that i was very selfish and when i conceded to have a child it was the greatest thing i decided to do we planned it it happened the lord blessed me with a child we didn't want to know the gender of the child until we did it old school you know we wanted to wait until we saw the baby to know whether we had a boy or a girl and I am just so happy that I made a decision to go ahead and have a child and I wish I would have had more but I'm fine with one trust me my son has an illness and we just didn't know if our next child would have one too and it's more than enough and I'm so grateful for what the Lord has blessed me with and I love love being a mom and I just want to share with you guys that scripture and that I'm that you guys are probably familiar with that you know man makes plans but the Lord directs his steps and that's exactly what the Lord did because I knew for a fact I made my decision this was going to be I'm not going to have any children my life is set but when you belong to the Lord the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord that's what he said in his word and so regardless of the decisions that I make and have made he's already calculated and factored all of those decisions in to his will knowing what I was going to do ahead of time not depriving me of my free will but working according to his predetermined plan it was his design for me to have 
Derek and I wanted his will for my life and he orchestrated my life in such a way I may not have known that I was going to be a mom but he did and he prepared me in eternity to be a mom and it's a learning process I'm growing each and every time and it was one of the greatest decisions that I've ever made and my husband said something to me that he always talks about me being a mom but I just wanted to say and share something that really touched my heart he said you are really really a great mom and he said I know I always tell you that he said but not only that other kids want to be like you little girls want to be like you other kids look up to you and you give to kids what you didn't have and you give to our son what you didn't have and what you think kids need and I think kids need so much validation, so much attention, so much praise, because if you don't, if we don't, the world is going to suck them dry. And we have so many kids who are depressed, who want to commit suicide and do all of these things because they don't have parents that they can talk to, they don't feel like they can talk to anyone, they feel judged, and there is nothing, nothing that our son can't talk to us about where we won't judge him, we won't cringe. I cringe because I'm a mom, but <laughs> I understand being a teenager. He's a young man. He has temptations and he has desires like any young man, any person does. We just guide him in the path of righteousness through the word of God. But we also let him know that your decisions are your decisions and you have to give an account. And because of Jesus Christ, he's given us grace and mercy and we teach him the ways of God and I didn't get those things and the talking to and just being there I dote over him in a way in terms of being affectionate toward him I just think that's so important and I'm just so grateful and I know my mom is grateful because she was upset because I had decided that I didn't want any children and she just wanted me to experience being a parent and I thank God for my mom and while she may not have led me to Christ, I was able to show Christ to her and she's so happy that I'm a mom now and we're very close, as close as we can be. And what I admire about my mom so much, she has so much dignity and she has so much grace. And when I wanted to go to college, she made it possible for me to go and she paid out of her pocket. And for that, I will forever be grateful that she did that for me. She's a hardworking woman and she taught me great work ethics and commitment and loyalty, not to a fault, but loyalty to a job to be a good employee. And like I said, when I wanted to go to college, they would not give me any financial aid and she did not want me to take out a loan. She said, you, you love school, you want to go, you're going to college and she did it. And she paid out of her pocket and I worked and I, we struggled and she made sure that those classes were paid and I made sure that I honored her by doing well while I was in school and not wasting my education, especially since she had to pay for it. And I just could never thank her for that and then the dignity and strength that she's shown me over the years and how to be responsible and how to be a good paymaster and all those things she really taught me. I watched her and admired her so very much and I'm just grateful to still have her in my life and now I'm able to be a blessing to my son and I hope he feels as strongly about me as I feel about my mom. Thank you for watching and I hope you were inspired and thank you for hearing me out. I just wanted to share some reflections on being a mom and the fact that I never wanted to be one but 17 years in, the greatest joy that I have. Take care. Bye.